Hi, this is Lou, welcome to my channel. So today Domino and I have come to some gardens and I'm getting some inspiration for drawing and painting flowers and leaves. So I wanted to have a little chat about developing a style. For those of you who know my channel, you know that I like to work in different media, in different styles, and to break that up. It's part of my personality, it's like the way that I like to work. That doesn't mean I don't have an artistic style and I have a fine art persona which I kind of keep very separate from what I do on YouTube and there I've tried really carefully to kind of hone a deliberate style so I use lots of geometrics, lots of fine lines and lots of gold but I didn't start YouTube thinking of it as like a, a profession or a career move I was just doing some projects that I enjoyed and wanted to share with you and over the years I've kind of honed that down a little bit so now I'm mainly working in watercolour but I still like uh, taking on different subjects and working in kind of different ways with that medium and I can't really see that changing all that much because if it did then I would probably lose interest in it so I haven't done a lot with flowers and leaves on this channel and that's mainly because there are so many other people just doing some brilliant stuff but what I do want to do is to work out what's Lou's style What's, what's the style for Lou, for YouTube, for this channel, and for now. And that may change in the future. But I want to do something that's a little bit different to everybody else, and something that really feels like me. So this week, as I'm drawing and painting flowers, I'm asking, what's my style? What am I particularly bringing to it? And what do I want to share with you? And what about that is unique that nobody else is doing? Or nobody else is doing in quite the same way? So in my studio, I've been doing some drawings and paintings of flowers, just fairly small ones, um, just trying out some different techniques and working out what it is that I like about them. Whatever it is, I'm kind of trying to keep in mind my principles of beauty, simplicity and detail. Those are the things that I want to kind of include in my, uh, in my paintings. And I'm also keeping in mind colour, line and form. So I'm going to go back to my studio now and I'll show you what I've been working on and I'll be sharing with you the kind of questions that I'm asking about each work that helps me work out whether it's, whether it's me or not. So now I'm back in my studio and I've pulled together a pile of watercolour kind of paintings that I've done. Um, some of these are practice pieces, some of them are sketchbooks things, uh, some of them I think are more finished pieces. Some of them I like uh, a lot, some of them uh, I like bits of. Uh, there's something about each of them, that's why I've made the pile. Um, and I'm just going to go through them and I'm just going to start writing down what I think was successful in each one. So for this one, I like the repetition. I like the repetition of the single, sh single shape. So I'm going to put that down. And what I really like about this one, I like the way that I've got kind of defined leaf shapes and they're quite simple, but they've got um, graduated colours across that shape. They're not uniform in the way that the colours laid down, but the shapes are, are there are pretty uniform. How do I put that? Um, I think I'm going to um, put a thing about um, range of colour range of colour and values. Values are like how light or dark something is. So for this one I like the the line detail. I'm going to put that in there. And that one's got a range of, of colours and tones as well. It doesn't quite have the same range of values. Um, again it's got the repetition so I've got uh, I'm getting more repetition. Maybe I'll put some little asterisks in each of these just to show that there's um, that there's more and I'll kind of build them up as, as we go through the pile. So this one, um, again it has line detail, so I'll put that in. So yeah, so this one was a sketch from a photograph. Um, I think I like the complex structure So there's kind of a lot going on there. So it's a very simple kind of sketch, but there's lots of kind of interesting shapes in these different forms. 
With this one, I'm not sure about it. Well, no, I do like it. Um, this was like practice of just painting roses and I'd got some photographs of roses that I took last year and I was pretty much painting them from the photographs. Um, I like that, again, it's got a complex structure. So um, roses have got lots of petals. So I like that. Um, it doesn't have line detail. Um, it does have a range of color tones and values. Um, it, it's got repetition, but only because I've kind of done lots on the same page. This isn't intended to be like a um, a composition. Um, it was just kind of practicing the same thing over and over again. So I think maybe that's why it doesn't kind of, maybe that's why it, it doesn't interest me because it doesn't have the, the line detail. Hmm, that's something to think about. This one I like a bit better. So uh, this one again has repetition, repetition of the same shapes, um, same sizes, but different colors. Um, and then the line detail, I don't know if you can see it in here, but I started putting line detail into the leaves. So I'm gonna put that in there. Again, I really like the range of values that you get from the center of the, uh, the flowers to the, the petals. And a lot of he them here, I just, um, I used dirty water really, kind of pulled that out from the center. And then some of them, I kind of added these peachy tones in. But a lot of this was just, just painting the centers of the flowers and then pulling out um, kind of slightly mucky, murky water. So yes, I like the range of to color tones and values. Um, okay. So I'm going to continue working my way through this pile and just kind of seeing if there's anything else that I like about these. And, uh, and if there is, I'm going to mark it off on this little sheet. So this is what's come out of this process for me, that uh, in developing a style for doing florals and leafy patterns, then what I'm interested in is um, obviously a range of colour tones and values in my uh, paintings and drawings. So that's probably going to mean that I'm not going to be doing kind of black and white or really graphic things. So that's kind of, that's, that's really helpful to kind of rule things out. Um, obviously repetition is a factor. Um, and I really like kind of repeated elements. And that's something that I like in the process of art making as well. That sense of kind of creating something once that's really quite simple and then repeating it over and over again until you kind of build up something more interesting. Um, these ones are a little bit more of a surprise. So to start with, um, I really like things that have obviously got some like line work in, so some stripes or that they've got uh, pen lines in or something like that. So. Um, I think I, I wasn't really sure about that beforehand, but I think the things that don't have this, this kind of detail work, aren't so successful for me. Or, I mean, I, they might be okay and they might look all right, but I probably don't feel like they're my style quite as much. And then this one was a real surprise that um, what I really value and like are really complex structures and interesting shapes, which you'd think wouldn't work very well with simple composition but um, I quite like the interesting shapes that you get in plants and leaves and flowers. So more than just the kind of simple circles, I'm, I quite like the, I quite like the spiky bits and the, the proggy bits and the, the stamens and all, all of those kind of things. So um, I really like the kind of poppy seed head shapes. So those kind of things are really um, important to go into uh, any kind of future work that I make. And then the simple composition, just the, um, I started to realize that the things that I quite liked either were simple because they're the same element repeated over and over again, or there's something kind of constraining the composition. So like things that I've done in a circle or things that are kind of on their own on a page. So um, really quite like that. 
So this is just going to give me uh, an idea of what my style is. This isn't like what's good art or not, it's just what what I want to make for this time and for this period and maybe even for this project. But it's really useful doing exercises like this every now and again just to remind yourself of what it is that you're creating and why you like it and why you want to create it. What makes a successful work for you. Even if you have work that you don't particularly like or that you didn't feel was very good technically, there are still things that you can learn from it and take from it uh, to help you going forwards. So you're going to have to wait until Friday to find out what I do with these things and how I take them forward into a kind of a slightly different floral style. So do let me know in the comments down below uh, what you think about um, having a visual style or a visual identity. Is it something that you think is important? Uh, is it something that you're trying to work on? Or are you happy kind of playing and experimenting and, uh, and creating things in, in lots of different styles? So um, I'll be working on my video for Friday where I'm going to create a whole page of a floral pattern inspired by some of the guidelines that I've worked out through this exercise. Uh, if you have a go at this exercise with your own work then uh, please do let me know and uh, I hope you find this helpful. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.